you can now pull product data directly from eBay right into Google Sheets using a program I created. And the way it works is you simply do a search on eBay, you then take the URL from there and you bring it into the program and it actually extracts all the product data. You can then also apply filters such as a filter to the number of sales or to the feedback score, uh, the seller feedback score for each product. And then you're able to actually export these products into a separate sheet which you can then download or actually Another thing you can do is you can copy and paste these products over to another system I created, which is actually a automatic product sourcer. So once you put the products in this sheet, you're going to see that automatically you're able to pull up the uh, sources of these products at other suppliers. So uh, if you're interested in either of these or both of these programs, I do have a link in or links in the description of this video for you to get copies of them but what I'd like you to actually do is to stick around for the rest of this video and see how it actually works. I'm going to completely demonstrate step by step how to use the system to get product data from eBay and then how to use this uh, auto sourcer to automatically source those products. So stick around for the rest of the video. So the first step in using the system is actually to go to eBay and perform a search. You can search for a product, you can search for a brand, it just depends on what you want. In this example, I'm going to search a brand. Once you do that, you should also apply some filters. For instance, I'm going to do the buy it now filter. I'll select a condition filter, condition new. And you can also do any other filters you want. For instance, the location filter. If I'm looking for products being sold from the US only, you can select US only, whatever it is that you need to do. Now once you do that, a URL is generated and you simply have to take that URL, copy it, and bring it over to the Google Sheet system. Once you copy it, you just have to paste it here on the Google Sheet. And once you do that, you then click on Extract Products and it will automatically extract the product data. So first of all, it's going to extract the item IDs off of the page. And once it does that, it is then going to crawl through every item ID it will then build product links to those IDs and it then from those product links it then extracts this data that we see here which is that it extracts the product titles the prices the number sold meaning the number of sales the sales history an actual link to the sales history the seller store and their feedback what I'm going to do is actually click on one of these links so you can actually see this first link. Here's the first product. You might recognize it as being the first product on the list. All right? And if we look at the second product, you might recognize the second product from the list as well. So if you look at the search results, it might not actually be in that exact order, but you can see it's actually the third product, but it's showing up as the second product here. Right? But you can see that um, all those products have been pulled in. Actually, what I'm going to do is press Control down on the keyboard so we can see how far it went. It pulled up 66 item IDs so this should end at somewhere around 66 but meanwhile before that's even done let's go ahead and look at the data we have 64 sold you can see it here 64 the price is 30.99 and you can see it here 30.99 alright just proven to you that this does work let's look at another product let's look at this third product remember it was the third one I just clicked on mainstay 7 inch adjustable bed frame two sold 4688 and we can see it here the price is 4688 number sold is two also the sales history if you click on that you'll see the sales history of this product right this very same product and you can see the sales history right 4688 you can see two sold right one the 22nd of September one the 21st right another thing that you can see is you can see all these different feedback scores. I'm going to find someone that has a, like a large feedback. So let's take like this store, right? You see that large feedback here, right? And if I click on the seller's store, I will see in fact the seller's store and that they have a 9530 feedback. Uh, what I'm going to do is look on eBay and you're going to see at the bottom that you can choose the number of products. I forgot to mention this. So if you wanted to scrape more products simply by selecting say 100 it would have scraped even more 
than the number of products I just scraped. Right, so I scraped, I had it 50. Now you might say, well, why did it scrape 66? Uh, it could be pull up, picking up some of these on the side, or it could be picking up something that's somewhere else. But uh, the products that are here in front of you, those are definitely picked up in the spreadsheet, and plus a few extras as, as well, as we can see. So, um, you know, I could just keep going through products, but that's basically what this does. Now, the next thing to do. When you have finished extracting the products, I highly suggest you use the stamp products because what happens is that uh, it's important to understand there's a formula that is pulling up this product data. There's a formula that pulls up these eBay IDs. All right, and I've written a program that uh, is running through those formulas. And here's the thing uh, with Google Sheets, it refreshes automatically. So if you let this sit and you let the formula sit there, it will refresh and it will keep pulling the data and what happens is you will be using up your extra uh, calls there's a 20,000 a day limit for uh, these web calls so what you want to do is click stamp products and what the stamp products uh, feature does is it removes the formula and replaces it just with the data that the data results so I created this function so that the formula will be removed and just the data the results remain that way it's not going to keep it's not going to keep making more web calls because it's just text so now that you've extracted your product data and you've stamped the product data on here the other thing you might want to do is actually filter the products so to do that you're going to just select these columns click data and then click create a filter and one very common thing you might want to filter are, is actually the number of sales so for instance if you look at these number of sales we see a lot of different numbers here let's just say that you only want products I'm going to go to filter by condition and let's just say you only want greater than or equal to and I'm going to select 20 right I'm not saying you have to use 20 I'm just using 20 in this example if you do greater than or equal to 20 these are the products that are left all right, now in order for this to work, one important thing I have to mention, this has to be a number format. So from here to here, this column, we have to make sure the format is set to number and then number. Because if it's not, it's not going to know that it's a number. All right, so just make sure that's already in place. But I have already done it on the sheet, so it should be fine when you get the sheet. Now the other thing that uh, you may want to filter is the feedback score of the seller. Right, I've heard it talked about a lot where uh, in other programs they talk about not competing with too high a feedback so for instance you might want to go to feedback score and you might want to say filter by condition and you might want to say less than or equal or even uh, not even equal just less than 1000 right you might want to say less than 1000 click OK all of the sellers that come up have less than 1000 feedback so now you have products where they sold at least 20 and where the seller, their feedback is under 1,000, right? Now that you have this set of products that you're ready to work with, you can simply export this into a new sheet, right? So you click on Export Sheet, just like that, and what it does is it goes to this other sheet and it pastes the data the ID, the link, all of that. Now if you take this, if you want to dress it up, you can bold it. So now you can see it a little better. Uh, you can see the prices, the titles, you can see how many sold, everything, right? Everything that you need to see. Okay, the link on eBay, right? The link for the history, the store, and the feedback. Now from here, you can download it if you want to, to an Excel file, or you can download to a CSV. You could also select it, copy and paste it. Now one thing I would like to show you, uh, which is kind of a separate system that I've shown in another video, is I have this uh, auto sourcing. So if you want to try this, what you can do, it only has three columns for the ID, the link, and the title. What you can do is you can take the ID, the links, and the title. Um, you could take these, you could copy them, right, highlight and copy those to here, to this other system you can go to paste special values 
and you will paste in the IDs, the links, and the product title. And then you can try to see if you can auto source them. And it will try to source them back to this very uh, extensive list of suppliers. I need to add the Am uh, add Amazon.com back in at the top. All right. Um, and I'm going to click on. You don't actually have to do that, by the way. That that was something that I deleted that I'm putting back. And you just simply click source product and see if you can source uh, some of these products back to their supplier. So this one comes back to Amazon and we can see this is the product the original product on eBay and let's see what it pulled up on Amazon okay looks like the same product to me what do you say right same product okay you can see it also pulls up the product at Walmart okay this looks similar I think this is also the same product picture just might be a little different you can investigate to see if you whether or not you think it's the same product because it might not be so uh, always check to make sure now um, you can go ahead and you can source all the products by the way simply by clicking on source all and it will just go through and it will try to source all of these different products when you have searched for a certain brand that is found at a lot of different retailers it's going to be easier for those to get sourced uh, Mainstays is a very popular brand, but you can try any brand and see where it might source back to, because there are um, there's a very long list of suppliers in there, and you can add other suppliers in here if you want. But there's a very very long list, so there's you know a good chance that it will be able to source the brand to one of those suppliers. All right, and you just let the program run, and this is just an auto sourcing program that will help you to source some of these products back to other sites so here you have it the mainstays 11 by 17 and then over here I have the uh, 11 by 17 also on Walmart same product so we see on eBay 11.99 we see on Walmart 4.98 right Walmart plus free shipping if you have Walmart plus looks like you can do okay selling this one and make some profit one thing I'm looking to add for the future uh, is something that's going to put the prices. In other words, it's going to find the link and then hopefully the price as well. So that way you can compare the price to, um, you can compare the prices from eBay to the price at Walmart or the price at uh, Amazon or the price at any other, pretty much any other online store that pops up. And the results, it could be Target. Um, could be any of those stores right any store any online store that comes up so that's pretty much the process um, this is still running for some reason okay basically it's still checking but it's still going down to see if there are any more products down here but there aren't but that's fine if you want you can cancel this or you can just let it keep running it's not going to interfere so if you want you can let it run but there's no point because I know that there are no more products left so I just canceled it right Okay, now uh, that is pretty much it. That's how the program works. The main attraction here being the eBay uh, product scraper. But again, as an additional thing to help people source in, you, we also have, or I also have this demo, um, uh, this product title auto sourcer, which, I'm, which I just demonstrated. So if you're interested in either or both of these programs I would suggest even getting both and trying them together but if you at least want the one that is specifically just for eBay then uh, for eBay product scraping I've got a link in the video for you to get this program and then if you want I also have a link if you want to do the auto sourcing and I want you to keep in mind that when you get in on these programs that I'm going to be updating them as well when I make small minor updates they might be small but they might be really significant you automatically will get the update also sent to the email that you used when you uh, first purchased or first received the system however you received it alright so basically uh, you're gonna be kept updated um, so definitely go ahead and get a copy now early on and um, start using it and then with time you get the updates stay tuned to the channel contact me ask questions give feedback whatever it is you feel like you need to do 
uh, as being part of this whole project and part of this process, uh, which basically is me developing tools and trying to get these tools out to sellers that are going to save us money um, in, in that we don't necessarily have to spend so much money on software if we can automate some of these things using a free tool like Google Sheets. A free tool such as Google Sheets. I do want you to keep in mind, however, the limitation, which I will talk about, uh, explain in the instruction sheet uh, that you'll find in here. 20,000 calls a day for a normal standard Google account. That is Google's limit limit on the number of web calls you can make. It's a lot, though. You can do a lot of products with 20,000 calls, but you should be aware of that limitation, um, that you're not going to be sourcing you know, uh, 20,000, 15 you know, products in a day. All right, but you can probably source hundreds uh, of products in a day or scrape hundreds. But just keep in mind this Google limitation per Google account, and you might be able to circumvent. I'm not sure, but uh, there is that limit. So I just want you to keep in mind so that when you get, if you were to go over to 20,000 and you were to get some kind of error, you would know that it's Google that is doing the limit, not me. <laughs> That's Google, right? So I want you to be aware of that. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them below. If they're general, if it's something specific to you, I suggest that you email me instead. My email will be down below. Um, also Facebook uh, and my website. But the best way really to get in touch with me is through the email because I'm on email more often than everything else. But I use everything. So um, I do look forward to either hearing from you on the channel or otherwise. This is Mr. Mark. This is Excel for eBay or eBay dropshipping, and I look forward to seeing you or hearing from you.